of strings here running between the uh, modules and the uh, and the inverter. In some cases, you need the combiner boxes. With our optimized solution here, you can put up to 11.25 kilowatt of module power in one string. So in many cases, this allows you to re uh, severely reduce the number of strings that you need to run here. So that allows you to save on the cabling and also allows you to save on the combiner boxes. In some cases, you can uh, reach up to 50% reduction in the bill of system cost due to the lower uh, cabling in the combiner boxes, for example. Now when we look at this example here, for, uh, for instance, we have a traditional inverter, 27.6 kilowatts, so we need here 4 meters per kilowatt of DC power. When we do this similar uh, solar edge system, we only need 0 0.45 meters per kilowatt of DC power. So we're looking at this example here, uh, six strings in a traditional inverter, each one of the strings can handle 22 or 23 modules. With the solar edge inverter, we can put more modules on the string due to the optimizers. The optimizers are DC to DC converters, so they can decrease the output voltage and increase the current. That way we're able to put up to 11.25 kilowatts in one string. So in this same example here, 27.6K inverter, with the solar edge system we only needs three strings to connect all the modules. So we can put up to 44 or 46 modules uh, in one string. That now gives you uh, quite a good amount of savings here on the cabling. So with the solar edge, we only need this additional cabling. And with the traditional inverter, you need to run all these red wires here uh, to connect the different strings to this inverter. So on the bill of system cost here, we can save a bit of quite a bit of money. When we're looking at the inverter replacement cost, the next one here, first of all, we have to take into account the future uh, compatibility of the system. So we can, uh, we have to make sure that we're taking into account all the different factors that can affect the inverter over this 20, 25 years. So mainly that's, that's the warranty and the replacement costs. So the optimizers that do the MPP tracking in the system, they already come with a standard warranty of 25 years. The inverter comes with a standard warranty of 12 years, but you can extend that also to 20 or 25 years. So in those cases, you don't need, really need to worry about the uh, replacement if you extend that to 25 years. If you don't choose to extend that, uh, still, if you need to replace an inverter during the lifetime of the system, it is a considerably lower cost to replace a solar edge inverter because this is only during the DC to AC 